Before this video starts, I did make one little mistake. The legendary four stars are not coming with this update. They are coming with the vault raid update in December. Enjoy the video. Hello all you beautiful vault dwellers out there. Big changes are coming to Fallout 76 with one of the most transformative updates in the game's history. Yes, that's right. Another legendary crafting system overhaul. A complete overhaul. And lucky for you, here's exactly what you need to be prepared for this update coming September 3rd. So what's exactly new with this complete legendary crafting overhaul? Just like the one that was released in 2021, it's getting completely redone. Instead of rolling random legendary effects on specific weapons, you'll now have the power to apply specific legendary effects to any weapon you choose, and you'll be able to have the three and four star legendary effects on your weapons now. Each star that you add to a weapon will increase in price. So the first star will be cheaper, the second star effect will be more expensive, and the third star effect will be even more expensive. So just keep that in mind. And we don't know what it costs yet to have a four star legendary. So, in order to apply these specific legendary effects, you'll need to learn the legendary uh, crafting boxes. To get these, it's really easy. Simply just scrap a large number of legendaries with the desired effect. We don't know the exact percent chance, and you'll have a chance to unlock plans for that legendary mod box. You'll also get one legendary mod box when you do scrap the weapon for the first time and you actually learn the plan. So you'll have one in your inventory and then you'll have the actual plan itself. That's how it works on the PTS. That may get updated. Now, um, the scrapper perk card, uh, we don't know if it incre increases the, uh, the chances just yet, but it looks like it does. So... Go ahead and throw that on for a slightly increased chance. I mean, it'll it can't hurt, you know what I mean. So, scrapper per card probably increases your chances as as far as we know so far. Now, once you unlock a legendary box, you could sell it or trade it or do whatever the fuck you want. So, if you get bloodied or explosive early on, and you could try and sell it for basically whatever the fuck you want. No one knows exactly what the market on um, these are going to be like because the, the chances of getting them are so random. So just keep that in mind. Now, this being Fallout 76, obviously the legendary boxes aren't enough and you're going to need more resources to attach that legendary effect to your gear. Now, in order to attach a legendary box to your weapon, you'll need legendary script. Uh, you could obtain it by trading in legendary weapons or armor at the vending machine like you have been for the past six years, or by scrapping legendaries, which is a newly introduced mechanic coming September 3rd. Uh, this, although you can do it at your camp, and it is super, super easy to do, scrapping the legendaries, it's not really worth it in terms of legendary script. Uh, you're going to be scrapping those legendaries for those legendary boxes. Uh, so just keep that in mind while you will be doing that for the, uh, for, for the, main like week or so of the update coming live really the main like two weeks of the update coming live you'll just be scrapping a shit ton of legendary weapons uh it is more efficient for script purposes to just trade in that legendary gear uh right at a vending machine if you're trying to get as much script as possible but this scrapping still okay you know it, you're not gonna get a shit ton but after a while after a month of trying to get all of the uh all of the legendary mods or legendary uh effects you definitely will have enough to script to start playing around with uh and now you could also once the update goes live the legendary cores that you have will be a one to one uh trade for the script, like I said. Uh, so coming September 3rd, any legendary cores that you have will be automatically turned into script on a one-to-one -one conversion. So now that you have the plans for the new legendary effect box mods, you'll need some unusual materials to craft these boxes and, of course, legendary modules. On the screen now, you'll see all the different crafting materials required for each legendary effect. Some materials include junk items, serums, and even those motherfucking rare bobbleheads, which will become so much more rare after the update. I'll also provide a link to the wiki in the description, which contains the complete list of all the materials needed 
needed for every legendary effect. Be sure to check it out and start gathering a surplus of crafting materials for the effects you want most so you're ready to craft as soon as you unlock the plans for the legendary effects, which again, may not be right away because it is a very small chance, so just scrap as many legendary guns as you can, but... Check out the link in the description. Uh, it's going to have the wiki link, obviously, and it's just going to have the uh, the complete list of all the materials that you need for every legendary effect, which it may change, but the wiki will be updated, so just keep an eye out there. Just a quick little note also with this update. If you have a one-star legendary weapon or piece of gear, you can now add a two-star effect and a three-star effect to it. Uh, so obviously, if you just want a two-star for some odd reason, you could do that, and then you could throw the third effect on there also. Uh, the effects will be random when you first throw them on there, just like it is now with the current system that we have, but you can instantly change them to your desired effect as long as you have one of those legendary box uh, mods, I guess you you could call them or just the legendary boxes so as long as you have one of those you could throw it on and change those effect as soon as you put them on there and just another quick little note here it will cost legendary modules to add a new random legendary effect to your gear and then it will cost the legendary box mods and then the legendary script in order to put the desired effect on that gear uh, and then obviously like i said earlier they will be adding a fourth star. We don't know if this is going to be just a random set effect, like the uh, like the the Ultra Sight one, where it does 50% more damage to Scorch targets, uh, or if it's just going to be literally a, another star that you could just choose any effect that you want. But that is coming in the game also. So we it, it was hinted at a little bit, but it's coming. So whenever the update goes live, I will make another video on exactly how to get a four-star legendary weapon. Now, there are a couple of things that you are going to want to do before the update launches on September 3rd. One of those things are to craft as many legendary weapons and armors that you can with your favorite effects, such as bloodied, anti-armor, vampires, and explosive for weapons, and then bolster, bolstering and un yielding for those armor pieces. Now this is so then you could just get as many possible legendary effect boxes as you can right off the bat when the update goes live. Um, as now I would suggest opting for lightweight items like knives or secret service weapons. So I would try and get, or like a, a 10 millimeter pistol for explosive or something like that. Um, so I would just get as many knives with bloodied or anti-armor or vampires as I possibly can, as many switchblades, and then obviously uh, as much secret service armor with the bolstering and the unyielding effects uh, for your armors. Uh, so go ahead, do that. You will also be getting rid of those legendary cores. Um, so this is just, like I said earlier, the legendary cores will be going away uh, for the new legendary crafting system. Uh, so if you have legendary cores that you do not spend before September 3rd, they will turn into script. It will be a one-for-one one return. Uh, so obviously, if you're maxed out on script, you'll just waste all your fucking cores. So spend your script before the update goes live, and obviously spend those cores before the update goes live, unless you just want to stock up on script, but it's not that hard to get. So I suggest you spend every single core that you have as long as you have enough modules for when the update goes live. So just keep that in mind. Get as many lightweight uh, weapons and lightweight armor pieces as you can, put the effects that you want on them, and go ahead and stash them to the side for when the update goes live, so then you could get those legendary boxes as soon as the update comes out. And now, obviously, we got you with some post-update tips and tricks also. Once the update is live, expeditions will be the best way to farm legendary gear and legendary script, obviously. You can expect to collect 5 to 10 legendaries in fucking 5 minutes if you do the most dangerous dangerous game, uh, Atlantic City Expedition, along with a significant amount of legendary modules per run. So you could get a couple of those, and then obviously you could get script as rewards, and then you also get those legendaries. All of those legendaries can be used uh, to get the effects that you wanted, so I would obviously just for like a month straight literally just scrap every single legendary that you get your hands on in order to get those effects, and I'll just worry about the script later since it is so easy to fucking get. So expeditions by far are the way to go once this update goes live everyone will be running them for at least a month i guarantee it everyone will be running the new atlantic city expeditions like i said best way to get legendaries for those legendary boxes don't don't mess around do expeditions once you finish the expedition 
hop into a public event. Once you finish that public event, go back and do more expeditions, rinse and repeat until you get all of those legendary boxes. Um, so if you do that, really, you could get pretty much all of the legendary boxes in like two weeks, as we've seen on the PTS server. So it's not really that terrible of a thing. It will be a grind for about two weeks straight, but you can knock it out of the way easily with expeditions. So there you have it, Vault Dwellers. Gear up and get ready. The September update is set to transform your Fallout 76 experience, especially when it comes to crafting. So before the update goes live, make sure you stockpile Legendary Geared with your preferred effects so you could dive right into the new system and make the most of it on September 3rd when it comes live. And when the update is live, go ahead and grind out as many of those expeditions as you possibly can to get your hands on all of those legendaries that you could then scrap for legendary boxes. So there, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It is not the hardest system in the world. It's going to be a little bit grindy at first, but it will be so much better than a rolling random effects. I promise you, you could just throw on whatever you want. Uh, also, just a, if you made it this far, a little quick tidbit, uh, explosive plasmas are coming to the game. So you could throw a explosive uh, legendary effect on a Plasma Flamer, uh, at least you could on the PTS, they may patch that, but as of right now, you can do that in Fallout 76. You could have a explosive plasma weapon. Once again, legacies are back, so if you made it that far, there's a nice little piece of news for you. Uh, yeah, guys, let me know what combination of uh, effects you're most excited for, and let me know if you guys are excited for this uh, new update in the comments below. As always, I appreciate you motherfuckers for stopping by and checking out this motherfucking video. Thank you guys so much. Happy hunting in the wasteland, and I will see you motherfuckers out there. Good luck, everyone, and as always, I appreciate you.